always late. <laughs> so it's late. <laughs> we got a couple, a few, a couple more poems for you. Logan said we can do three piece, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep it rolling, get it out of your way. Uh, I write about my dad a lot. I write about war a lot. Part of time served is about war and PTSD. Uh, my dad's a Vietnam vet. Here's this poem. He says, well, not really says. He mentions quickly in hurried conversation about nothing at all, really, nothing important, just funny old him. He says, he hates the rain. And I flash through past memories, figuring it has to be because it gets his car dirty or it makes it hard for him to see when he's driving or, hell, I don't know, because it's wet. But all he says is, he hates the rain. My father and I get in the car and the conversation dies as the car starts. We back up to leave the parking lot and he says, you know why? And I'm thinking to myself, of course I don't know why. If I knew why, I would have been waiting for you to bring it back up. I would have just brought up something else. Why? I say. It reminds me of the monsoons in Vietnam, he says. Oh, I say. Realizing that now is not one of those times when I offer up my opinion. These moments spent with my father, I treasure his presence. So I simply say, oh, and make sure to listen. We hop on a I-25 headed north towards Albuquerque, suntanning only the left sides of our bodies through the windows, and I'm thinking to myself, how is it we were just talking about the rain? But by now, my mind is wandered into a monsoon, eyes glazed over, staring through the windshield of a car headed north, and his story is kissing my eardrums like half-set suns kiss the aftermath of gunfire, his words settling like hot, tangled smoke. You couldn't even light a cigarette, he says. His words now barreling down my throat. My thoughts have become misinformed soldiers, not knowing where to go. I want to ride him out of that jungle, into terrain less dangerous, a dry pair of clothes and a pack of marble reds. You had to wake up and wring your socks out, he says. By now, my mind is mental metal matched aftermath. How's group therapy going? I ask, good, he says. I find it helpful, and if I can help others through talking about my experiences, well, I guess that's good too. You have, I think to myself. By now, my mind has wandered into a monsoon. Eyes glazed over, staring at the windshield of a car headed north, and I am swallowing questions like pride. Wishing there was one way, there was one story I was allowed to rewrite Because I can only imagine all the extra pairs of socks and sunny days I could bring to life And remembering his disdain for the rain, I do my best not to cry So instead, three hours, 250 miles north towards Albuquerque we drive And inside, I'm thinking anything that will listen that he came back alive Because although we're not that much alike, in some ways my father and I are exactly the same. I too hate the rain.